Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today. We are gonna be filming a haul video, which I don't do very often. One, because I can't afford it. Like, who can afford a haul all the time? And two, these sales don't come around all the time. So actually, Sephora has a sale twice a year and um, they just had like a holiday bonus sale. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got for that sale, it was in November, which hopefully this will be going up probably early December. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from this sale. I didn't get too, too much. I think I only spent maybe just over 300. So it's not like a ginormous haul, but these are some things that I wanted to stock up on or just try new things. And it's almost 100% the holiday gift sets which I love. I tell you guys all the time, they're such a great deal. So if you guys are not a Sephora member, um, I'll leave the link down below. Uh, you can just go to like sephora.com and sign up. It's free to become a VIB. Um, and you can be Beauty Insider. You can be, I think there's like three different tiers. Beauty Insider, VIB, and then Rouge. And um, I am Rouge, because let's face it, I have a problem. And um, I'm okay with it, I've accepted it. If you can accept it with me and accept me for it, we can get along. Without further ado, let's jump right in to what I got. So first thing I wanted to show you guys is not actually from this for a VIB sale. Or it's for a holiday sale or whatever it's called. Um, but it, you can buy at Sephora. So I wanted to share it because I this is my first purchase from this brand, um, which is crazy because I'm a professional and it's geared more towards a professional brand. I am going to be purchasing more things in the future, I think. Um, so, Charlotte Tilbury, you guys. Um, so that's somewhat of a lie. I did purchase a, a gift set last year that had the magic cream in it, which I actually really, really loved, but it is hella expensive, you guys. Um, I'm always, I always have to buy the biggest one because it's the best value usually. I would definitely do your math and double check and make sure, but usually the biggest size is the best value. So until I can afford the biggest size, I just won't get it, which seems kind of crazy, but this is just my brain because I know I'm not getting the most bang for my buck if I get a smaller size sometimes. So anyway, they had this cute little gift set. They did have it on Sephora. I'm sure they still do. Um, it's the Gift of Magic Skin, and it comes with the magic, comes with the travel size of both the Magic Night Cream and um, the Charlotte's Magic Cream, and then you get a full size of the Magic Eye Cream, and I was in need of an eye cream anyway, so I was like, I love Charlotte Tilbury's The Magic Cream, um, the night cream I've only heard amazing things about as well, so the eye cream's got to be pretty good. So I haven't tried this yet, but I'm really excited um, to try it out on her packaging, you guys. Can we just, can we just talk about it? Like, how gorgeous is this? Um, I love the rose gold tops. It's got clear. It is like an acrylic pa um, packaging. But the eye, look how ginormous this is, first of all. Like, it's like as big as my palm. And this is an eye cream. So obviously you don't get like that much product. It's mostly just packaging. Um, so the full size one is 0.5 fluid ounces. So half an ounce, which, you know, it's not, that's not small for an eye cream. Um, so it's a pretty decent size, and then you do get the travel size of both of these, the night and the day cream. Like I said, I've tried the day cream before, loved it. If you have really oily skin, I maybe, I used to use the magic cream at night because I do have more oily skin. Um, it is like a more thicker, luxurious, very hydrating cream. So if you have very oily skin, I maybe wouldn't use it during the day, but it's just really dependent on your skin skin type. I would try it out and see. I am going to actually, especially now that it's winter. My skin, so my, my T-zone is still somewhat oily and the rest of my skin is kind of normal slash dry. Like the tiniest hint of dry. So I do tend to use more hydrating moisturizers in the winter time anyway, during the day, and definitely at night. I use oils, thick creams, all the things at night. One of these days I'm gonna get a video up about my skincare routine. Stay tuned. So anyway, I picked this up. Um, I did actually get it off of a professional site because I am a professional, so I was able to get a discount, which was amazing, and I'm really excited because Charlotte Tilbury's products, I have not heard a bad thing, like about any of them. I did also get her Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It stays all day and night. So I got the shade 5 Neutral, and it is a pretty good match for me, turns out. 
Um, I hate shade matching online because I feel like it's just so impossible. But not all Sephora's have these in store. It does have a nice pump. Again, the rose gold packaging to die for. Has a really nice glass bottle. The only thing I am thinking about purchasing some of her foundations for my professional kit. And I can't do glass bottles. Although I do have the Max Fix, Mac Fix Fluid as my um, main foundation, liquid foundation in my kit right now. And I just depotted them all into plastic pump bottles. So I could do that too. It's just a pain to do. So anyway... But it is really nice, pretty, luxurious packaging. Feels really nice and luxurious, heavy-weighted. So I got those. And then it also came with a free eyeliner. Um, I gotta be honest, I kind of wish it was like a black, but it's a purple. It's like a pretty plum. It's called Elizabeth Violet. It's their Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Pencil. Um, I haven't really heard. They are incredibly creamy. So I may end up purchasing some of these for my kit. Um, I only generally use black and brown. I would only use this in like the waterline generally. Um, it is a nice sharpening, sharpenable pencil, which I prefer because I feel like I can keep it more sanitary. Um, but a violet is always kind of a nice offset as well. I do have a violet in my kit, so this will probably end up replacing it because it is so nice and creamy. I don't know how they wear on the waterline. Um, so I will keep you guys updated on that and see how it goes. And it also came with a nice sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I've never used this mascara, but it's like a little teeny tube of it. <clears throat> I didn't even look at the wand on this yet, I don't think. Oh, that's like a really dry formula. Well, we'll try it someday. We'll see. Never tried it. If you guys have tried it, let me know if you love it, hate it, how you feel about it. Um, and then it also came with a sample of the Goddess Skin Clay Mask, which I do really like clay masks. So, um, it says it visibly lifts, smooths, and brightens for youthful looking soft skin. Who doesn't want all of those things, right? I'm so happy to be getting this video up too because I don't use any of these products until I film the video, obviously, so I can open them with you guys, but I really wanted to be using that skincare, so I'm excited. Um, another gift set, I'm, I told you, um, like a good 95% of my Sephora haul is gift sets, which I absolutely recommend for the holidays, especially the holidays, they come out with tons, but even in general, all year round, the Sephora gift sets are usually, I would say 100% of the time, an amazing deal. Like you're always going to get the most bang for your buck with the gift sets. So with that being said, the first one I'm going to show you guys is by Belief. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. Um, it's the Moisturizing Balm, not the Aqua Balm. Um, it also comes with their Moisturizing Eye Balm, which I do really like as well. I like this one for more of a daytime eye cream um, because it's not super thick and heavy. And then it also comes with their Jelly Cleanser, which I have four girls, so we go through cleansers a lot, especially because they're only 12 and 10. Um... They just don't know the right portion to squirt out of those bottles. And it just like pulls at my heart a little when half of a Glam Glow facial cleanser is gone in like a week. I'm like, um, guys, can we not? Um, we're, we're working on portion size. I A pea-sized amount. Apparently we don't need enough peas for them to know what a pea-sized amount is because a pea does not fill your palm. Just saying. Anyway, it always comes in like cute holiday packaging. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which you probably can't really see, but it's always like super, super cute. And um, it was only $30, $38, which is the price of this. So you get this and this for free. And uh, let me tell you, I got, I got this exact same gift set last year and I just recently ran out of this eye cream. Eye creams, you guys, you need like the teeniest, tiniest amount. It's only going right here around your eye. It's not going all over your face. You need a teeny tiny amount. So things can last you a butt ton longer. And then the jelly cleanser that you get is a whole fluid ounce. So I love these little travel size too because um, I usually just give these to my girls because like I said, they use a ton. So that is the first gift set. Super excited. This is like my go-to moisturizer, especially in the winter time. I will even use this in the morning in the winter time because it's like really thick and moisturizing. Not really thick, but it's super moisturizing and I love that about it. The Aqua Bomb, I used to think I was going to like because I do have oily skin and I just don't. Jelly moisturizers, turns out, are not my thing. I've tried a few different kinds because they're supposed to be hydrating but they don't leave your skin like, 
I don't want to say oily. Um, so there's two different kinds of moisturizers. There's like a jelly one and then there's like a thicker cream one. The jelly ones leave your skin so it, it's dry. Not dry, dry, but like there's no tack to it. And moisture, more moisturizing cream ones leave it with kind of like a, a dew or a stick almost. Like there's just, it, you look hydrated. And I prefer that one, especially in the wintertime. In the summertime, I prefer more of a jelly, I'm sorry, gel moisturizer because I have natural dew coming through. In the wintertime, not so much. So I'm a little bit of a skincare freak, you guys. And I know I tell you guys that all the time that I love skincare things and it's always where you should invest your money. But these sets make it so easy. So this is the Sephora's Favorites Skincare Next Big Thing Phenomenal Finds created for you. So these things, like, I'm never going to stop raving about them. They are just phenomenal. Um, so this retails for $120 if you were to buy them all separately. I got this whole thing for $40. Bucks. And come on, let's, can we, can we not with the packaging? Like, look how pretty and sparkly it is. Oh my god, I love it. Like, I'll probably... I have so many of these boxes, you guys. You're going to be like, um, why? But they're so pretty. And they're just, like, cute little boxes that I can store things in. I use them for functional things. I try to, anyway. But it's, like, so pretty. I can't... And it's, like, a sturdy box, you know? Alright, so let's go over the contents. <clears throat> this one... Let's see if I can face everything forward for you guys. This one had a ton of stuff in it. Um, and usually there's always like one thing that I'll want this kit for. Um, I can't remember what I wanted this one for. Maybe it was the Herbivore Emerald Cannabis Sativa Deep Moisture Glow Oil. I don't know. I have most of these products now that I'm looking at them. Some of them I can't even remember purchasing. Like, I can't even remember putting them in my cart, but apparently I did, so. So, it comes with the Indie Lee CoQ10 Toner. Oh, and it's a spritz toner. Ooh, this would be great for travel. Comes with, like, a cute little lid. Ooh, I like this. Actually, once this is gone, I'm going to put this in my kit. I love this packaging. This is perfect. And so compact. Like, I love it. Any, anyway, it's the by the brand Indie Lee. Um, and it's just a toner. So it's got CoQ10 in it, which is a great ingredient. It says after cleansing morning. Yeah, you just put this on after your cleanser. Any toner you would put on after your cleanser. Um, because as I've explained before, in your skincare products, you always go thinnest to thickest when applying. Because application is everything. So just know that. All right, the next product that's in here is by Primera. It's their mask pore livery. Is there an American side? Yeah. <laughs> Clean Berry Lip Mask. Oh. Oh. I love lip masks. Doesn't really smell like much. Has like a bit of an earthy maybe scent. Yeah. A little bit. Maybe a little bit of lemon. Um. Alright. Um. So, it's supposed to be for your lips. I'm um, I'm going to try a little bit because I don't have anything on my lips right now because there's a lip product that I want to try. And my lips are hella dry, especially being sick. Un memento. Hmm. First impressions, it would not be a lip mask that I would use. It's very thick and waxy. This reminds me of like the Bite Beauty lip masks. I'm going to put more. I... Hmm. I need like hydration in a lip balm, lip mask, whatever. And this is supposed to be like extra hydration. Like you're supposed to put this on overnight and let it do its job like overnight and... That's just not something I would use. Um, I love the Laneige ones because they're so, like, rich and moisturizing and pliable. And I just love those ones. So I'm going to, you know, leave it on my lips, obviously, until, <clears throat> until I apply the lip product. So we'll see. Maybe it'll sink in and be a wowza amazing, but... 
first impressions, I'm not feeling it. So I have something from Glow Recipe, which they have a ton of the watermelon products. This is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Oh, it's a squirt. I was worried this was going to be like a stick moisturizer because I've seen those and I don't feel like I would like it. But it does say it's for oily to combo skin. It's got watermelon, hyaluronic acid, and antioxidants. All good things. All good things. All good things. I'm going to squirt some in. Ooh. It's got like that pinky hue to it. And that classic watermelon scent. I do have their sleeping watermelon mask. It's not my favorite thing. Again, it's more like a jelly, very light moisturizer. That's why it's for oily to combo skin. And this would be one of those things that I would use during the summer. It's just like a water-based moisturizer. It's very light, which is great for the summertime. Um, smells really good, though. Yeah, I could totally eat that. <laughs> okay, then I have the Herbivore Emerald Cannabis Sativa Hemp Deep Moisture Glow Oil. So it's a really pretty little, you get a decent amount of this. This is um, like a hella good sample size. This is 10 mLs, so pretty good size. All right, so I would use this oil definitely for, um, if you have really dry skin, you could use it under makeup. For me personally, I would use this at night as like one of the last things that I apply. I always apply oils last because they're the thickest molecule. You want them to, um, everything else to penetrate first and then you put your oils on. Um, so that's what I will personally use it for. But if you have really dry skin, you could use it before makeup. You could use it in the morning. You could use it whenever. So another product that we got in here is Youth to the People. Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. Ooh. Ooh, it's an overnight mask. I love overnight masks, you guys, because let's be honest, I'm lazy. I don't want the trouble of having to take off the mask because I'm, I'm lazy. So I love overnight masks. They're very hydrating usually. Yeah. Doesn't really have a scent, but it's a nice thick formula and it's, it's going to be great for an overnight mask. So these are great. Sometimes my, um, my older two girls will get a little dry too, so I love having these masks on hand for them um, and myself. And this I actually have used. It's the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I have this in my um, skincare regimen already. I use it all the time. It is an, um, a silicone formula. Not my favorite, but it is very lightweight and it does tend to blur my skin a little bit, which I can appreciate. Then, of course, we have a Sol de Janeiro. Um, bum bum cream i have so many of these this will probably go in a giveaway but um yeah they come in all of these things like whether it's the little packets or these little things it's insane um we have a pharmacy product honeymoon glow aha resurfacing night serum oh i love these too anything with aha alpha hydroxy acids are going to be amazing for exfoliating your skin this is like kind of like a chemical exfoliant it's like the drunk elephant framboos um tlc serum I use it at night as well it's a night serum obviously so um, super amazing that they included this you only get five mls but <clears throat> so it's a really tiny little sample but if you end up liking it that's what these are for so you can try things before you buy like the full hundred dollar purchase because let's be honest Sephora is expensive but it's always nice to have um, the and they're like decent size samples they're not like Sephora playback size samples <laughs> Um, and then we have a Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum, which I have never heard of, but their packaging is really cute. It's got the cute little rose gold on there. So snowy mushroom, it looks, it's very liquidy. It's got a little glass packaging, which is kind of cute. Um, I haven't heard anything about this. It says how to use, apply to face, neck, and decollete twice daily for external purposes only <laughs> don't use it internally guys let's look on sephora so full size retails for 62 dollars <throat> it is one fluid ounce it says it's for all skin types it says a hydration boosting pore minimizing serum powered by snow mushroom why have i never heard of this ingredient before which leaves skin simply healthier looking. Solutions for pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, dryness. I kind of wish I got a bigger sample now. <laughs> so 
Sounds like a miracle cream. I'm definitely gonna try this out. And it sounds like something I can use in the morning. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna give it a go. I might try this out tomorrow morning. Cool, and then the last product, yep, is by um, Biosense. I think that's how you say it. Squalene plus vitamin C rose oil, so another oil. So this was more of like a hydrating, glowy, dry skin type <laughs> um, gift set, but of course I got it anyway. This is like a really decent size sample too. Ooh, it's a really nice, oh, smells good too. Really nice lightweight oil. It's not like too thick. I love Biosense's oils, actually. I have their hair oil, and I have a little one in here. I have a bigger one in my bathroom, um, and they're just amazing. Like, you just run them through your hair, and your hair, like, I have it in today, and you can see how much luster my hair has. Like, I put it in after my showers when my hair is wet, and it just does amazing things so this one has vitamin c in it as well and rose oil <clears throat> so that's exciting brightens and visibly firms i need all those so excited so that is like a more like i said dewy dry skin type box but i'm excited for it and y'all know that i have <laughs> oily skin so um, I think it's a really awesome and I love the Sephora's favorites because it's like the best of the best like the things that people are raving about like I said before um, there's usually like one product in all of these and I'm like this is why I'm buying it because I really want to try this one product and then you get all these others as like a bonus I paid $36 for this this is the Sephora favorites skin experts proven formulas for our top authorities in skin health so Look at all these yummy goodies, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it's got Kate Somerville in here. It's got Dr. Dennis Gross, Murad, Good Jeans, Sunday Riley. Oh, my goodness. Proactive. Mm. Um, you're always going to get something that you're not a super big fan of. But Dermalogica. Yes. Yes, yes, yes to all these things. So this is more of like an anti-aging, exfoliating, um box which I'm really excited for if I can get it open. So here's what it looks like once we open it up. So the reason I got this one is because I've really wanted to try these. The Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Alpha Beta. I'm sorry I said that backwards. Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels. You get three treatments in here um, and I think it's like a yeah it's just an exfoliator. Achieve clinical results at home. So it's a two-step thing in here. You get three of them. You have the daily peel and then, I'm sorry, you have the exfoliate and smooth and then you have the anti-aging neutralizer. So it's pretty much like a chemical peel for you at home. So always read and do your research on this if it'll be good for your skin type and all of that. I love chemical peels. If you guys know anything about me, the chemical exfoliation is my jam. So I am like over the moon excited to try that product out specifically um and then actually i've been recommended to try this several times and i haven't yet so i'm excited to try this as well um hollywood's two minute facial kate somerville somerville it's her exfolicate intensive exfoliating treatment and you get 15 mils so yes i'm so excited to try this too this is more i'm pretty sure i don't even know actually um i think it's a like more manual exfoliant so it's got like the little beads in it. Let's open it and find out. Who knows? Maybe it's not. I could be completely wrong. Yeah. So it has like teeny, tiny, tiny little grains of sand. So it's a nice, more gentle exfoliation, which is great. Yes. Super, super excited. I love exfoliating, you guys. If you could love anything, love exfoliating because it's going to give your skin the best result ever. Exfoliating and then a good moisturizer after. 
So Dermalogica, I actually haven't used Dermalogica since since I like graduated from aesthetic school in like 2009, 2008, 2009, one of those years. Um, because the first salon that I worked at as an esthetician used Dermalogica, so I had to obviously use their products. This is their skin smoothing cream, um, powered by Active Hydra Mesh Technology. A lot of professional salons do use this. Um, I don't know if it's just like a moisturizer. Yes, next generation moisturizer with active hydro mesh technology infuses skin with 48 hours of continuous hydration and helps protect against environmental stress. Exciting. Um, I may use this, I may give it to my girls, we'll see. If I use it and I'm not a huge fan, I'll usually just give it to them because as long as they're doing some sort of skincare and doing all the steps and stuff, they're fine. So the Proactive Green Tea Moisturizer, I definitely probably won't use, but my girls have so much acne, so much acne. So I will probably give this to them. It'll help kind of dry it out a little bit from the green tea. So that's what I will probably do with that. And then we have um, Obagi Clinical Kinetin Rejuvenating Serum. Powerful plant growth factors to minimize the signs of skin aging. So just another anti-aging serum because <laughs> we don't have enough of those. Um, in the morning and evening after cleansing skin, apply a thin layer. Tie your face and neck, avoiding eye air, massage gently, blah, blah, blah. Cool. You only get, you only get five mils, so it's not a huge sample, but it's nice to be able to try it. So I am definitely excited for this one. I have other samples of this as well that I still need to use up. So Sunday Riley Good Jeans is a lactic acid treatment. It deeply, deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. This I've heard nothing but good things about and it has really great ingredients. Sunday Riley is a really, really good brand. So excited to have that. Then we have the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. Um, this is a really nice thing to get in here, which I might start using in the morning underneath everything to see how I like it. Um, but it comes in a cute little glass bottle and like this adorable little pump. So cute. All right. That's everything for that box. Sweet. Another four favorites. Power of the Petal. Skincare powered by plants, fruits, and flowers. Really pretty packaging. So this one retails for 81 and I paid 36. Oh, it looks so pretty. That's what it looks like. These two up here have like this um, iridescent -y kind of hue to them. So I have from Fresh, which is a really awesome brand. Oh, goodness. The Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I believe I've used this before. See how pretty the packaging is, though? It's like that pretty iridescent -y pink. Yeah, it's a really, really good moisturizer for... Um, this would be like a daytime moisturizer. It says, with time-release hydra hydro patches, moisturizes, and nourishes. <gasps> so excited. A bunch of this stuff will be going in giveaways for you guys, too. Um, and then I did really want to try this. It's the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. Clinically Advanced Miraculous Anti-Aging Moisturizer. Um, yeah, really excited to try this. <laughs> Developed with plastic surgeons. I don't know if that's supposed to make me feel better about it or what. It's just another little moisturizer. So I love having these, again, so my girls can use them and so I can try new things, try new moisturizers, see if I find a new favorite, all of that. Caudalie Premier Crew, the eye cream. Oh, another eye cream. I might start saving these little ones for my girls. Yes, they're only 10 and 12, but you can never start too early, to be honest. And it's not about the benefits that they're getting from it necessarily right now, because obviously they don't need the anti-aging things and all of that. But the earlier you start them, the more of a routine it becomes, the more of a habit it becomes. So when they are 15, 16, 17, and 18, it's like second nature to them to put on their eye cream, to put on their, cleanse their face, do their acne cream if they still are struggling with acne, put on a moisturizer, do a toner. Like it'll be second nature to them to do all of those things, which is why I started both of them around, well, I started both of them at the same time and it was um, probably about two, 
a year or two ago. So n almost just now it's becoming like a thing like every day because they both kind of have pretty bad acne. So they want it to go away. It's kind of motivating them to do it day and night, day and night, every day. So just a little tip, start your kids young and then it will become a habit when they're older and then and you don't have to buy expensive products. Like sometimes when we first started, I was getting them from Walmart because I'm not going to spend a ton of money on their skincare because like I said, they go through it way too often. So yeah. Oh, I got another pharmacy honeymoon glow AHA resurfacing night serum. Oh, that's exciting. Now I have two of these little buddies. And like I said, I got another Biosance squalene vitamin C rose oil. So this will probably go in a giveaway. And I'm really excited. I have so many of these little things now I could probably fill like a full size thing. <laughs> I have one of these that I'm currently using in my um, bathroom and then I also got the sample of it from like the two samples that you get for ordering online. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I was going to purchase one of these too in this sale but look how much came in here. Like and I'm telling you guys oils I do like one two three three drops like teeny little drops and I've been using this I have the exact same size one in my bathroom for probably a few weeks now and there's like barely a dent in it so a little goes a long way especially with oils so anyway this is like almost the same amount that's in here okay according to it's about half the amount is what it says but what I'll do is once my one in there is going down I will pour this into it so it's able to be preserved and not just like opened in this random little thing really good oil I love this oil and when I put this on I have like this facial facial roller it's like the nurse Jamie one almost exactly except I got it from TJ Maxx for like ten dollars um and you just like roll it all over your face and it kind of just penetrates it even more gives you gives you a little, gives you a nice little facial massage yada yada so love the Kiehl's midnight recovery mask it's um recovery concentrate sorry not mask uh, I got another glow recipe. This is the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Oh, my girls will love this. Oh, you can kind of smell it through the packaging. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, maybe they won't get that. <laughs> that smells really good, you guys. Like I said, I do love these little ones because I can just throw them in their little bin that they have in there for all their skincare. Um, and then when they run out of one, they can use another. And which is why I like getting these too, because then I don't feel so bad that they're using this in like a day. Although I'm still not a fan. Last but not least is the Laneige sleeping mask. This is the berry flavor, I believe, or scent or whatever. Yeah, the lip sleeping mask. It's good. I love it. It's one of my faves. Definitely recommend. Maybe this will go in a giveaway as well. Um, I have like, I have a full size one by my bed. I have these little ones, a few of these as well. I have all the lip balms. I man, I bought more in the sale, of course. So that's it for this box. The other little sample that I got is the Somerville Kate Somerville All Skin Types Skin. What is this? Oh, it's the Exfoliate because I really wanted to try it and I forgot I got it in my little kit. So anyway, I have another little sample of that. All right, this is a hair care kit, which I only really wanted to try again one product. This one I paid thirty dollars, and I was, this is what it looks like. So it's all different dry shampoos. I love trying out dry new dry shampoos. Goodness, if I can get my words out. This one I've heard really good things about, so I'm really excited to try it. <laughs> it even says on the bottle, actually cleans hair like none of the others do apparently. But Living Proof is a really good one. Um, so I'm really excited to try it. Have never tried it. Yeah. One other one. Oh, it's broken. So this one is by Dry Bar, which is also a really nice hair brand. Um, it's Original Scent Detox Dry Shampoo. So we're going to try all these. I love having these too for my purse or my car or for my daughter's book bag. I have another little one of, the, of this in my kit that I use for my hair kit and it works does have that like white cast so if you're not like for one that has a white cast the perk up amica one does have you can see it on my hand pretty smells really good though <coughs> almost almost too strong <coughs> this one i have not tried either this is the moroccan oil dry shampoo light tones i don't know if that means it's for like light tones of hair maybe because it has like a white cast 
Oh! Yeah, it might have a white cast. Sometimes you really have to shake them, though. I have a Batiste one. Ooh, that's much gentler of a scent, though. Oh my gosh, it's like crusted up powder. Can't even see it. Oh well. Anyway, that one has a bit of a white cast, so sometimes if you shake it up, though, it won't be as bad. Okay, the star of the show, the one I've been really wanting to try, the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I'm so excited to try this. It probably still has a white, white cast as well. Most of them do, but you have to, it's just in that you shake it, you do it from further away, yada yada. Some are worse than others. Ooh, that has a nice scent too. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try them. Dry shampoos. Dry shampoo is a girl's best friend. If you don't have some, let me know. I'll send you one. Let's do this one. Oh, another one. So I got this one. <laughs> this is like a ginormous one. I didn't even realize how big it was. This one was the most expensive though. Yeah, it was $75. It says, okay, so it retails for $157 and I paid $75 for it. This came with a ton of things that I really am excited about. Um, comes with more of my the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peels. Um, I use this powder and love this powder. I've really been wanting to try this Charlotte Tilbury um, lipstick, sorry. Um, I think this is the Hourglass, I think, mascara, which I have not tried either. Oh, it comes with a candle. I didn't even see that. Hair and, what is it? Oh, it's just hair. Hair vitamins. I This is the sleep um, pill that I use, and I'll show you guys. I got some, of course. Joy Texturizing Spray and another Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Oh, and a Luna, Sunday Riley Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil. I love night oils, you guys. You guys can introduce two things. Two things into your skincare routine, an exfoliator and a night oil. You need them. Trust me, you need them. Or even just a night sleeping mask. Doesn't have to be a night oil, but a night oil is like definitely preferred. Okay, come on nails, don't fail me now. Plus that lip balm is junk. I can't even remember the brand of it. That was awful. It did nothing for my lips, like absolutely nothing. We're in. But the packaging, again, it's super cute. It's got like little, um, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, like little fireworky glitter things on them. You can't see them, whatever. They're cute. And we're opening. Pretty inside. Super cute. It says happy holidays. Love Sephora. And then it's got pink glitter. Like all of this is pink glitter. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but it's super cute. Oh, you guys. I'm all about the packaging. If you don't know that about me already. I love me some good packaging. Okay, where to start? Oh, good. oh yes, of course. We get another one of these. I'm telling you. It's so funny because for so long I wanted to try this so badly. So I finally splurged and got the full size. So I have a full size one in my bedroom. And now I have like 15 of these little ones everywhere. The full size one is like not cheap. I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks or something. Let me, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, 45 bucks for the full size. So not cheap, but it is really nice and luxurious. I will say. Okay, so one of the reasons which seems so silly that I got this whole big kit um, was for this right here. It is just a Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. I'm opening it. I want to feel it and see it and touch it. Oh, it's so luxurious. Yeah, so I always use um, a puff when I'm doing people's makeup, and this is so pretty. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to keep it clean, cause, and you could use either side. You could use this side, which actually you could probably use to actually apply makeup. I don't know if I would, but it's pretty in pink, and this is like the velour side, and then it has like a spongy side, and it has um, an elastic band that says Beauty Blender on it. Um, like I was saying though, I always use this when I'm resting on people's faces um, to do their makeup. So I was really excited for this. Little thing. I'm putting it back in this cute little packaging because why not? Cute, cute, cute. Super excited. That's probably, I don't know. I'm excited about a lot of things in here, but I'm really excited about that to have that in my kit. And then we get some of the Hum um, Deluxe 3 Day Sample for stronger, healthier hair. Gummies with benefits. 
It's got biotin, folic acid, FOTI, B12, zinc, and PABA. So you're supposed to take two a day. I currently take, what are the hair, skin, and nail vitamins I take? Vitafusion, I think it is. <coughs> One of my friends recommended them, and so I got them. I don't know, honestly, if I see a huge difference. I just keep buying them because it's what I use. So maybe I'll love these and I'll try these out and I'll buy these. They're probably cheaper. I don't know. I feel like the Vitafusion ones, I spend like 12-ish dollars, 12 or 13 dollars. And well, the thing is, is we use so many a day because I have four girls and me. So my older two use two, I use two, so that's six a day. And then I give my younger two one each just because they like to be included and this is one of my favorite loose powders, you guys. It's the Peach Perfect by Too Faced. Um, it's just a translucent setting powder. I love this powder, you guys. It is for sure one of my favorites. It's definitely a teeny tiny little sample of it. But I kind of love this packaging and may use this in my kit because it's nice and sleek and thin. So that's always nice. So this candle is... All right, we got that back. It is a Nest Fragrance Holiday Scented Candle. Oh, it smells so good. I kind of wish it was bigger. It's so tiny. It's only like this teeny tiny little votive size. Oh, it smells so good though. I'm excited. Super excited to light that bad boy. All right. Next, which I'm kind of not excited about because I already know it's probably not going to be my shade. Yeah, it's always in universal taupe and I get it. You have to cater to the most people, but... I already have a universal taupe in this. Um, I do believe this is full size. Let me uh, check out my full size one. Where is you? There you is. Yeah, it's full size. Um, but I already have a universal taupe that I almost never use. I think I've used it like one time. Um, so this will go in a giveaway. So if anyone really loves these, stay tuned for the giveaway. This is the Hourglass Mascara, which I am definitely excited to try. Huh? I wonder if we could keep a counter on how many times I say excited to try in this. Maybe we should do that, Heather. <laughs> um, I don't know why I just smelled it. I feel like all mascaras smell pretty similar. It does seem like a really nice formula, though. It says Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. All right, I'm going to try this. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> this is a really big thing of... Uh, cleanser. Um, I don't love the packaging. I hate the packaging. In fact, um, one, I got one of these, I think last year and I still have it. Um, and it's a glass bottle and it has a little plastic cap. Like what kind of cleanser comes like this in like a little glass bottle with a plastic cap that you just unscrew and try to use. I've used it a couple times. It's a decent cleanser. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's a kale, green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood cleanser. It's from Youth to the People. Okay, you guys. So I apologize. Um, my camera, not my camera, um, my SD card got full. So I had to go about my day. We have been all throughout the day. It is evening now. We are home. Everyone's home. Kids are home. And um, they're going to school tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm so excited, but um, I'm excited that they don't have school. It's Thanksgiving break, which by the time you see this, it'll probably be December something. But um, who knows? Maybe you'll see it sometime in November. Maybe we'll be right on top of things. But anyway, um, I wanted to finish going through all my stuff for you guys. So um, we were going through this one. And I've pretty much gone through everything but the Jouet. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce this. Oh my gosh, this one is really hard to get the things out of. You should have seen me trying to get out this lipstick. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we got the Jouer texturizing um, spray, which is awesome. And then I got another, I'm telling you, they really wanted them to stay in here because this is like... Get another Living Proof um, Dry Shampoo, which is exciting because I've heard good things about it. So hopefully it's really good. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments below. I'm super curious to know who it works for, who it doesn't, because I feel like people are super particular with their dry shampoos. Batiste is my all-time favorite. That's my, like, ride or die. Um, and yes, it has a white cast, but I have a trick for that. So if you guys are curious, let me know, and I can do a whole video on hair care things that I do. Anyway, so we have those two hair care items in here. 
and we have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and full size. This is a full size lipstick, which is exciting. This is full size. This is full size. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know how big the, I told you guys about the, the green tea. I apologize. My daughter is crying right now. Um, my husband's out there, but, um, I don't think this is full size. Let's check. No, this is not full size. Although they do have, I think this size. I uh, know they have a two ounce one for $10. So I guess this would be like worth $5. Um, and then the full size is $36 and it's eight ounces and has a pump, which would be way better. Like, what is this? What would you do with this? Like, who is seriously going to sit here and pour out a little and oh, oh you pour too It is a hot freaking mess. Like, who wants to do that? It's a decent cleanser. I have nothing bad to say about the cleanser. It's, it's just the packaging. Like, it sucks. We have a Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in... Pillow Talk. I have wanted to try this lipstick for so long now. Um, I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I did make a Charlotte Tilbury purchase um, and have been really happy with the products that I've tried so far. I did actually just put this on earlier, but I'm gonna put it on again. Actually, I'm not gonna put it on again because I have another Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss or lipstick that I'm gonna try. But I did try it earlier and it's more of like a pinky. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like that pinky nude oh it's like the perfect nudie shade super excited and the packaging oh the rose gold i love it very 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 sexy packaging love it and then i think this is the last thing that we haven't talked about and maybe we already even did a little bit it's the sunday ride riley luna retinol sleeping oil we get a little um how big is this no don't say 5 ml, so very tiny little sample of it, but again, oils, you don't need a lot. And it's like a blue tint. I've seen this one. I've heard good things, so it has a very, like, earthy kind of scent, so. Oh, apparently I. Oh, that's a really nice little night oil, you guys. Okay, so that is everything for this big kit. Okay, so that's everything for this one. This was like the really big one. The biggest one that I got. This one was valued at 75, or I'm sorry, it's $157 retail, but I only paid 75 for it. So I'm excited. I think this is an awesome deal. I love these deals, you guys. I love all of their little holiday gift sets because they're stinking amazing deals and you should definitely try them out. Okay, last couple things. Um, this is my favorite um, sleeping medicine of all time. This is the one that works amazingly for me. So anytime there's a sale, I always stock up for a few months. Um, if you get a 30 day supply for $10 during the sale, I got it for $8, which is awesome because we got 20% off. So this is awesome. And all it has in it is melatonin and B6, which are the only ingredients plus a little calcium, which you can never go wrong there. Love that. No milks, no eggs, no fish, which is great, I guess. Shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, soy, yada, yada, yada. These are great. If you are looking for a sleeping medicine that is very gentle, very natural, here you go. Love it. And it's super affordable. Um, I've tried like the regular melatonin from, you know, the grocery store um, and it just doesn't work as well for me. So this, it could, it could just be in my head to be honest, but this, it works really well. It's really not a bad price. So this is what I go with. I got their little gift set of the Laneige lip balms. These are my favorite, you guys know. So um, I like to stock up on during sales on things that I know I'm gonna use. Um, and my girls like them too, and I have all girls. So I mean, really, none of my stuff really goes to waste. They use it too. So this is 35, they're usually 15 a piece. So you save like 10 bucks, that's awesome. You pretty much almost get one free. The last little gift set that I got was this four favorites give me more lip lip wardrobe ensemble um it's called tear and shine no tear and share i can't read you guys i'm sorry it's getting late so it does come with like a perforated line so you can apparently not very easily tear there it goes so you can tear it apart and they come in like two little sets one is like lipsticks and the other is lip balms so i love both um, I was actually just thinking, this comes with like a liquidy, it's called, it's by the Incredible brand, um, and it's full size too, which is great. 
It's um, like a liquid lip roller for a lip balm. And I haven't had one of those since I was in like eighth grade chorus is the last time I can remember using it. And I think it was, oh my God, I'm trying to remember the brand. It was red and it was like strawberry flavored. It had to have been like Smuckers. Smuckers? No. No, that's peanut butter and jelly. Smackers, the lip smackers, smuckers. It had to have been some form of lip smackers. I know I loved their um, lip gloss. Oh my gosh, the I think it was like strawberry kiwi or something like that. It was to die for. Um, but the uh, the one that I the other one that I really loved was like a liquid roll on, and I loved it. It was like the lip oils, and that's what this is. So I, this like brought me back. Um, it says, "Be a roller baby." in your incredible rollerball gloss. I'm actually gonna put this on because I really wanna feel it and see. It's in the shade or scent or whatever, choose your happy. Enriched with coconut oil, which is awesome. Okay, I'm excited. It doesn't really have a scent. I know, I know for some people that'll probably excite them. I really wanted there to be a scent. I love that cooling metal ball feeling though. Like I know that sounds gross, but I really wish there was some sort of scent. There's like nothing. That's upsetting. Well, it's nice. It's a nice little hydrating gloss, but I, I, Definitely wish there was a scent. Maybe they have other flavors or scents or whatever, but I was really excited to see this anyway. It seems like a really nice hydrating balm gloss. It says it's a gloss. Seems really nice on the lips. Looks really nice. Um, this one I know I won't use because I've tried them before. These ones are too waxy for me. The Sugar by Fresh, the Sugar Rose Rosé. Yeah, these ones, they just don't do it for me. They're too waxy. I do love the packaging though because they twist on and off, which I think is really cute. And you get like a cute little amount in there. These ones just don't work for me. So this will go in a giveaway. Um, and then I got another little Laneige one. So those will also be going in a giveaway. And then I also have a milk makeup lip balm, which I haven't tried. So I probably will try this. Ooh, it smells kind of minty. Ooh, I like that. I love the minty tinglingness. It's a Kush lip balm. Cool. In Green Dragon. I kind of want to try it. Let's try a new lip balm. I'm excited about the, the minty. Hmm. Okay, the weird thing is it kind of has like a greeny tinge. It feels nice. I was worried it was gonna be kind of waxy like the fresh ones, but it's not. Ooh, and it does have a little tingly. Oh, I love tingly. It does feel kind of nice and I do like the tingly. I might use this. That's like almost never happens anymore, I feel like. <laughs> I like it. It is kind of weird. The only, you can see the, the greeny kind of, well, you guys probably won't be able to see it, but on my top lip a little, like where it's kind of built up, I guess. But anyhow, I do like that one quite a bit so far. We'll see how it wears on my lips. We have the last little set of lip products. We have another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Very Victoria. Which I'm super excited to try these out. These are awesome. I Like I said, I tried one earlier. This one's a little bit more cool toned. Um, cool toned slash like neutrally. It's almost like the exact shade as Pillow Talk. But it's like ever so slightly more cool toned. You can see this one's like more pinky. And this one's just like a little bit deeper. And a little bit more cool toned. So 
super excited for those. And then I never liked the Sephora brand. I think I have this exact one already. Um, this is just Sephora brand made in Italy shade number 96 I think it's just like a a liquid lip type thing but this red I actually have it's a really pretty like blue red very like true red super pretty but I already have it and I'm not sure if it dries down I guess we'll find out here in the next few minutes but I do have an oil on my hand too so it may not completely dry down and then I have a Fenty lipstick, which is exciting. I haven't tried any of theirs, and I almost don't even want to swatch it because I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has the FB for Fenty Beauty in there, and I don't want to, like, mess it up, but I don't know why. I smell everything, you guys. I'm weird, but I am going to swatch it for you guys so you can see. Ooh. Ooh, I was not expecting so much pigment. That one right there, that is like pretty good pigment, you guys. Okay, I'm excited. It's a very like berry color, so I'm not a huge fan of the berries, but who knows, maybe we'll use it. Last but not least, we do have one more here. We have a Too Faced, another nudie. I did put this one on top of my uh, pillow talk earlier. Uh, sex on the peach this is what it looks like look how stinking cute I don't know if you guys will be able to see but it has peaches engraved in the side how stinking cute is that I like died when I opened this that was so cute oh and of course it has that classic peach scent for all of their Too Faced Sweet Peach products oh yes it's just such a good cool toned nude so that one's the Sweet Peach, the Too Faced one in Sex and a Peach, Sex, Sex on a on the Peach, and then these are the two Charlotte Tilbury. This is very Victoria, and this is Pillow Talk. It's all really good nudes, but you can see the different tones in them. Like this one's more pinky, this one's a little bit more neutral, and this one's more cool toned. I think we're finally through everything. Amen. That's everything for my Sephora holiday sale haul and I hope you guys enjoyed everything and if you do want to go out and try anything let me know what you get or what you end up picking up for the holiday season. They have tons of gift sets and I definitely recommend any of the gift sets because like I said before they're just such a better deal, a way better deal usually um, and you usually get like a several free things to try so that's always fun I love free stuff <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a big like and a subscribe I'd love to have you part of my beauty channel here on YouTube hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video you guys have been so sweet and supportive lately and I just want to say thank you so so much so um, I'm hoping to keep this going here and keep <laughs> uploading videos for you. Let me know in the comments what you end up picking up in the holiday season sale and um, what other videos you want to see from me. If you have any specific things you want me to go into or anything like that, let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye. I'm actually going to drop it on the floor. Sorry. Pause for dramatic effect.